Cheapest with HobbyKing.com with another great product we're going to talk about today. So you guys may have noticed that the KK 2.1 has been out of stock. Well, there's a reason for that. We've got the 2.1.5. Now it's based on the 2.1. We've just made a few uh, changes uh, to make it a little more user friendly for you as well as a, a few upgrades. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into those upgrades. But here's the new board right here. First thing we're going to talk about is actually the battery port right here for your voltage sense. Uh, a couple of changes have been made to that. Now, the, the original 2.1 works perfect. Problem is, is uh, a lot of people are damaging their boards by plugging it in backwards. So a couple things that we've modified. First thing, we've added the red header pin. So it's pretty obvious which one is the buzzer, which one is your voltage sense lead. Second, we've disconnected the ground on the back of the pad so the trace never does not go to the ground. So it's getting the ground from the ESCs themselves. Um, the reason for that is that it gives you reverse voltage protection. So if you plug it in backwards by accident, you're not, uh, you're not going to fry the board or have any issues with that. Now moving up to the buzzer pins, because some people were plugging uh, battery voltage into the buzzer input and damaging the board, uh, what we've actually done is added uh, diode protection on that, so you're not going to have any issues if you accidentally plug voltage into your buzzer. Another thing is when you look at this board, we've added silk screening to it, uh, which uh, prints on it um, that allows you to be, uh, clearly read uh, the polarities of these pins as well as they're addressed uh, clearly on which pin does what on it, so we've added some silk screening to it as well, make it a little more user friendly. So the next thing we're going to talk about is is the volt sense uh, uh, itself. Uh, there was a diode in place on that, and uh, it was uh, having some uh, issues with the voltage sense accuracy. And a lot of people had to compensate a little bit to get that to work uh, right on with the battery. So we've actually modified that circuit, so you're going to have no issues with the voltage sense uh, coming right into it. Other than that, it's the same great 2.1, so it's got the same MPU, the uh, the 6050. It's got the um, uh, same uh, Atmel processor, the 644P, so it's got all the same power as the original 2.5. We've essentially just made some uh, ergonomic improvements so that uh, people have better success and more user-friendly as far as accessing the ports, the pins, and not damaging their board. Uh, same functionality. Anyway, guys, this is back in stock. It's up on the new items page, and as always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.